очень, 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 Hello guys, welcome to Merz Benz King. Today we are here with the G63 in Zurich, Switzerland. And I will show you why this is a perfect daily car for in the city. And you can already see it as a night two package. And that means extra blacked out parts. A blacked out Panamericana grill with a Mercedes star. And just look at the massive size. The height is around one meters and 90 centimeters. The width almost two meters. And we already know that the G-Class is difficult to get your hands on nowadays. It just feels like a luxury watch when driving it. So let's have a look at the front in more detail. Because I mentioned the Night 2 package and that means it has a blacked out Panamericana grille. With a blacked out Mercedes store and even the complete front bumpers are blacked out. I can already imagine how it looks like if you have a blacked out exterior color. So tell me guys, what would you choose? The Arabian Grey or the full black on black G63? I really love the G-Class characteristics like the indicators on the top, the round shaped headlights. And we will also see this round shaped headlights later in other videos because there will be new models of Mercedes-Benz. I noticed that even the AMG lettering is blacked out. And of course on the sides you see more G-Class characteristics like this line which indicates how deep the G-Class can go in the water. Furthermore it has a V8 bi-turbo emblem which is blacked out. And just look at these massive 22 inch rims. I really love the red accents of the brakes and you can also see the red accents in the interior because this is the new design G-Class Manufacture. And you will also see the new Edition 55 on Merz Benz King with a lot more customizations. So let's open the door with this button. And there you can see a beautiful red contrast stitching of this AMG interior. It has this special emblem Mercedes-Benz G Shuckle approved and that is because it is manufactured in Graz in Austria and also tested in the Shuckle Mountains. And before we take it for a drive, I want to show you more of the side and this edgy design. And just check out these optional flaps to protect the rear people from all the dirt coming from the wheels. And here it also has blacked out G63 emblem. So let's open the trunk. And there you can see it opens in a 90 degrees way. And yes, it has a lot of space, very high ceiling but you can see a huge trunk area. Also with amazing Napa leather perforation and stitching. Beautiful case. And guys, let's go for our drive. Easy entrance with this sidebar. Massive sound when the door closes and there you have a beautiful invitation screen of the G63 AMG. And just check out the steering wheel with glossy carbon fiber on the bottom and the top with a nip and Alcantara on the sides. So I will buckle up with this beautiful red seat belt and let's press the button for the electronics to work. There you can see AMG. And I will hit the button to start. Before I do that, I will put it into Sport Plus mode for an even more aggressive sound because the exhaust valves open. And here in Switzerland, you can already see a lot of extreme nice cars like this Lamborghini and in front of that, the Ferrari. So let's start it. There you can see the previous generation G Class. G63. I will hold the downshift and hit the button to start. Put it into drive and let's go. Beautiful. And this is what I meant when 
driving the G63, the feeling you have, it is amazing because you sit so higher above all supercars. And people really look at this G63 because they know it is extremely hard to get your hands on nowadays. There's a waiting list. So in today's video we will take the G63 for a drive in the city and you can see a lot of Mercedes-Benz vehicles. First of all I really love the design of the G63, of the G-Classes in general. You have this very square-like edgy interior. Also here with this A-pillar extremely far away. So you have a very spacious feeling in the interior. And I really love this constant rumble on the background. Of course when you drive in comfort mode, it is a little less, but still when driving in low speed you hear this motor constantly on the sides because of these massive exhaust pipes. In comfort mode you can also activate the exhaust button here on the steering wheel, so if you press it the exhaust valves open and it is a little more aggressive. Beautiful cars here. Let's put it back into the Sport Plus. Not to drive fast but then you really have this aggressive sound. And this is also the perfect height, the window, to put your arm out. In other cars, in SUVs or sedans, you will be a little bit higher with your arm. It does have the acoustic glass, so double glass layer. The G63 has 585 horsepower. We are driving a V8 by turbo. And it feels very quick. You don't feel the weight. It just feels like mocking physics because the weight and the power that this car has is just not matchable. It is so fast off the ground. Although driving the G-Class is an amazing feeling in the city, I will now demonstrate how it is to park. In the left we have multiple parking spots. We will just wait before this white car exits. There's one bicycle, yes. Because parking the G-Class might be a hassle. I have to do it in multiple turns because the turning radius is not so great for the G-Class. But there eventually we are in the spot and we have a camera over here for the rear view and the red line indicates actually the distance of the spare tire with the object behind you. So let's see how we parked. I will put it in drive, in park and let's go. So let's have a look.
and it fits perfectly in these Swiss parking spots. Amazing. Let's check out the rear. And here is where you can see that indeed the camera shows the distance of this spare tire. And there you have of course a tow bar. So guys, thanks for watching Mars Benz King. I hope you liked the video with the G63 driving in Zurich city. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.